Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm Roscoe and this is Roscoe Reviews. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install the drain assembly part of a garbage disposal. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our DIY projects. Garbage disposals come with the drain assembly piece. Most brands use this same style, so this should work whether you're using an Insincorator, a Badger, a Moen. Most of the styles use this same drain assembly. For our demonstration, I'm going to be using a stainless steel sink that is not attached to the countertop so that I can show it to you from the backside and you can get a better view. To install a garbage disposal drain assembly, the only tool you should need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go ahead and set the stopper off to the side because you won't need that for the install. On the back of the mounting bracket, you'll find three Phillips head screws. We don't want to remove them from the bracket, we just want to loosen them all the way out. With the screws loosened, the part with the screws in it should turn to the side a little bit so that it will drop down, exposing this compression ring. To remove the ring, you can take a screwdriver to the end of the ring and sort of pop one end out and then work your way around and the compression ring will pop off. That little ring is actually what holds this whole thing together. This little cardboard ring is a slip ring. Do not throw this away, you will need this piece. With the drain assembly all taken apart, we can now drop the top of the drain down into the sink. To seal this, we'll use some plumber's putty. If you do not have any plumber's putty, I will put a link for it in the description of the video. To apply this, you'll take a nice sized chunk and roll it into a nice little Play-Doh snake. Now you'll wrap that around the drain piece. Don't worry if you have some extra, all the excess will just squish out the top as we tighten it down. Go ahead and smash that putty onto the drain piece and we're going to press it down into the sink. When you press it down into the sink, you want to try to keep that centered in the hole. Now looking at it from the bottom side of the sink, we're going to reassemble the drain assembly the same way it came apart. Starting with that cardboard slip ring, and then the metal triangle shaped piece. And then we're gonna put on the piece with the screws, but you're going to line the screws up to where they're not on the triangle. So you see I'm placing the screw where it's not on the other triangle metal piece. Next is the little compression ring. It's easiest to start with one end and then work your way around. This can be a little bit difficult to do when you're underneath the sink and trying to hold these pieces up there. When I'm putting one of these together upside down underneath a sink, I usually use one hand to hold all the pieces together and the other hand to put the compression ring on. Once you get the compression ring on, reposition the piece with the screws to where they're lined up on that triangle plate. And now we're going to tighten those screws. When you tighten them, do a couple turns on each screw working your way around so that you tighten the whole thing evenly. With the drain assembly tightened on, when you look at it from the top, you'll see all the plumber's putty that is squished out. You can go ahead and retrieve that and put it back in the tub and use it again next time. You're now ready to mount the garbage disposal to the sink. The side of the garbage disposal that has the little spout where the dishwasher connects and the hole where the garbage disposal drains will point toward the middle of a double basin sink like we're using in this video. Before you attach your garbage disposal to your sink, be sure and put the plug on it first. It's a lot easier to wire in the plug before you attach the motor to the bottom of the sink. You'll press the garbage disposal to the mounting bracket and then spin the metal ring and it will grab onto the mounting bracket. Once you've tightened it on there with your hands, you can use a screwdriver or the wrenchette that comes with the garbage disposal to tighten that ring until it gets to the little notch. There is a little notch on the mounting bracket that sort of locks that ring in place. Once you have it all the way there, there won't be a gap here between these pieces. That's how you know you have it far enough over. This has been a tutorial on how to install a garbage disposal drain assembly. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.